Hi, this is Tapcat, and as promised, here is the ambush for our most recent covert op. So let's go ahead and play this out. I will, let me see, field medic and tech specialist. Let me come up top. Let's move already. We're going to try and set up an ambush. And that generally works a lot better if you're up here. Ten four. All right. They're not going to come this time anyway. They should come on the next turn, I think. Oh, and they're all the way over there. That's interesting. Your team is compromised. Okay, well. Hold on. Let me move you first. I'm kind of wondering if I should send somebody down below. Because... We're pretty, pretty good. We have a decent amount of distance here. You know what I'm actually tempted to do is dash this guy and like come all the way over here. I think I will. I don't really want to be like this far away from the action. I did not expect them to bring in the reinforcements all the way over there. So we got three. As long as we can get some, some hits here, that will really help us out. If we could kill one guy, I'll feel pretty good about it. Although, with their health pool, we probably won't, now that I think about it. Yeah, we didn't kill crap. I don't know why the other one didn't fire. I had two guys on Overwatch. Yeah, that's frustrating. Um... I'm going to be hard pressed to kill more than one guy this turn. And that, that is no good. I don't think this van is blowing up no matter what I do, but what I was curious to see is if I could hit both these guys with one grenade. Uh, I don't think the answer is yes. But I could come over here. It just doesn't seem like it does me any good. <sighs> Stun. Hmm, you know, that might not be a bad move. Here I, come. I need to eliminate some attacks here. Like, I don't think I can get lethal on all these guys. I have a very high chance to stun this guy. Let me go for it. Okay, stun four is amazing. So now, unfortunately, see, I can't flank this guy. It's very realistic that I could do enough damage, 9 to 11, and you are 7 to 8. I mean, I might kill him, but I got the armor and everything. And if I come over here... I'm just leaving myself wide open. Like, I have to just hope this guy misses. Let me do this. I'm going to come here. I got to try and get the shot where I shred him first, because if I don't, I have zero chance. Okay. Well, that was a pretty damn good first shot. So if I hit him, I will get the kill. 
but I have to expose myself to a flank to do it. Or, alternatively, I just take a really low quality shot. I'm on the move. I'm just gonna go for it. Ooh. I was thinking I'd have a better chance than this. Yep. Well, that, that's now I'm in the worst case scenario because I am exposed. And they're both going to fire. It's not one guy, it's two. So she could die. She could easily die. All right. I got lucky. And this guy is about to have a bad day, I think. Wait a minute. He gets to fire again? What the hell is that? I don't know why he got to do that. That makes no sense to me. Tired of waiting around. I'm going to try and kill this officer first off. Okay. Now, I mean, this guy has full cover. I don't know. I don't know how easy this is going to be. And we are badly wounded. <laughs> and I got Let's nothing in terms of healing. I mean, you know what I'm tempted to do? Problem is, it's not lethal. Like, how am I, how am I taking that guy out? I have next to no chance to hit him. I don't dare come over here. I'm trusting you here. I think basically, I'm just gonna try to work my way over there and pray that I hit a crappy shot, or that he spends all his shots on the lost. And this is not a great strategy when I have two badly wounded soldiers. And I missed both of my crappy shots. Now if he comes over and flanks me, I am host. But he is doing what I hoped. And he missed his first shot, so that means he doesn't get any future shots. And hopefully they will also go after him. Although at the moment, it does not appear that they are interested in doing that. Well, I am going to do everything I can to um, increase my chances of taking this guy out. So, now that I can do that, hang on just a second here. I got to worry about these guys because they're close enough they can get to me. Alright. So now... Can't tell. I think I have two more turns with this guy, but I don't know. Um, man, I don't have a lot of ammunition here. I don't think I have a ton of choices. Like, oh, you missed. Not good. I can't believe you missed. Oh, God. I'm going to reload. Let's do this. And then... Um... Damn you. Guaranteed kill. And he's the closest. How many is that now? I'm all out. I have to reload. And then I'm going to move as far away from them as I can. So my hope is they come and attack the stunned guy. And that'll happen after. Okay, he's no longer stunned. Oh, so he gets to act now? Okay. That's a little scary. This is actually like the most difficult um, like opening encounter I've done in an ambush in a very long time. 
I could stun him again. <laughs> uh, but I'm not going to. So... Do this. One down. You want some more? Man, I'll tell you something. I'm stressed. Having two guys wounded right at the beginning and knowing that we have to go through the whole map, I'm not really worried about the lost. <laughs> But these idiots, I don't really want to kill that lost. I actually think I want to leave that one alive. I want to try and kill this guy. Or soften him up at least, which I did not manage to do. Okay, I'll do this. And then... I'm going to step forward and I'm going to try and shoot this guy. Come on, man. I either want, you know, one of them to kill the other, or at the very least, uh, what I would hope. I only have two health. I don't, I don't dare move forward, because if this guy did come for me, I would be so screwed. Or even this guy could just kill, oh, you know what? I know what I'm going to do. Uh. Although, this might not be smart. Now that I think about it, that might not be smart. Never mind. I'm going to come over here. I could blow up the car and kill her. Yeah, I haven't had this much trouble with breaking one of these in forever. And he gets a free action for some reason? Awesome. And now I have more wounds. And he gets another one? What is this guy? He just gets to attack, attack, attack all day long? Wow. I'm honestly, like, I'm just stunned. Hi, future Tapcat here. And... Past Tap Cat is pretty salty about the death that just happened, and I could certainly understand that, especially since I did live through it. Um, but now that I've had a chance to look at the video and approach it from a little bit more of a you know analytical point of view, I realize that uh, I really was the architect of my own demise there. So let's kind of go through a number of different aspects of it. First, I didn't pay any attention to the fact that this guy, like he was not just a standard trooper. If you target him, the name Elite Gatling Sergeant comes up. Now, I don't have all of these, you know, enemies memorized from a better advent. I've never tried to do that. But if you put Gatling in the name, that definitely suggests some kind of big boost in firepower. Apparently, in this case, that means, you know, more shots. But it would have been a clue to me that I really want to avoid letting this guy attack, right? And I didn't pay attention to that, and that's on me. So that's one piece of it. Um, had I paid attention and made him a higher priority, you know, look, I was lucky because I had stunned him and he was sitting there helpless. Like we had him flanked for multiple turns and I was, you know, trying to thin out the lost and moving around. And, you know, if I had it to do over again, I would have maybe moved away from the lost one time, but I would have focus fired on him because you know, we needed to take him out and I should have made that a higher priority than I did. The other thing that I completely missed the boat on, and this wouldn't have kept my soldier alive, but it was still just a foolish oversight on my part. I said at one point that I don't have any healing and that was just not true. In fact, my field medic had two charges on a med kit. Now, Unfortunately, you know, this 
isn't a specialist where you can send out your gremlin and heal somebody. But at one point, I was standing right next to the tech specialist who, who was down to two health. I would have certainly used an action to bring her up. Now, as I say, this wouldn't have saved my soldier. But if we're just talking about smart gameplay, you wouldn't want to leave your soldier at two health. And if I'm right next to her, especially, so I'm not burning the whole turn. I don't have to move and then heal. I just need to heal. That was foolish. That was a foolish oversight on my part. I don't know if it's realistic that I would have been able to heal both in the middle of, you know, everything that was going on. But again, I'm just like, you know, look, man, it's up to you when you're playing to be situationally aware. And that was a big miss on my part. So, all right, I think I covered everything that I wanted to, but I don't, you know, anytime I see stuff like that, Of course, there are many times while I'm playing where I just miss some little thing, but it all comes out in the end. You know, maybe the worst case scenario is you take a wound you shouldn't have or something. But in this case, wow, did it cost me because this this was a soldier we had brought on many missions and, you know, slowly managed to level him up at least to, you know, where he was a serviceable guy. And then like that because I didn't know what that soul that enemy was capable of he's gone so I thought that was worth a few minutes of discussion and with that I will go ahead and turn it back over to past salty tap cat and just remember he doesn't know any of this so you may hear more complaining from him about how unfair it all was <laughs> okay I can't do anything about it now. But that's really frustrating. You want some more? Getting one free attack is one thing, but then he takes that attack and then just gets to immediately follow it up with yet another attack. Like... Wow, that's a good deal. <laughs> I wish I could do that. Rock and roll. Oh well. I can whine and cry, but he's dead. He is dead and he's not coming back. But I'm scared, like the, you know, Shadow Chamber talked about heavy mechs and stuff, and I just lost the only guy that had shredding. And I gotta work my way through this stupid map. And I got, you know, she's down to two health, so those stupid rockets they have will just kill her. Right, I'm going to reload, and then I'll just come over and reload and Ready to go. see if I can limp through the rest of this place. That's crazy. I have never gotten, well, I've never, I don't think I've ever lost a soldier in an ambush mission, period. But to lose one of three... And then on top of that, have another one who's at death's door. Oh, hold on. I, I should have noticed I could do this because this will help. At least I don't have to be so fearful. I mean, right now, if anybody sneezes on her, you know, like, bam, that's it. I'm not moving forward. We have to be so careful right now. Well, I'm definitely going upstairs. Copy that. As long as I didn't, yeah, since I didn't reveal anybody, I'm just going to come go, up go, and stand go. right next to her. I've got movement here. Okay. I see. More lost. 
I'm not, you know, all that worried about the lost. It's the Advent. Let's move already. All right, no dashing. I just have no way of knowing when uh, I'm going to spot one of these baddies, and you know it's close. So there you go, there's a mech. Well, this... Oh man, can I get it there? I am one tile short. Hmm. Of course I am. Of course I am. I mean, this probably makes sense. Alright. Now, my problem is... I don't dare move forward. Because I can't kill him. And my problem is, if I give him a good target uh, for a grenade, he'll use it. And first we'll get hit with the rocket, and then we'll fall down and take more damage. So, you know, as much as it pains me, Finally. I just don't dare get that close. Uh, honestly, maybe I shouldn't have even moved up those couple of tiles, but I'm really hoping. All right, well, at least the Overwatch you know, didn't do me any good. Hopefully, he'll see the lost. Miss, miss. Oh, he's suppressing. Okay, that's fine. Are the lost going to attack him? Looked like one, at least, is standing next to him. I'm a little antsy about this. Um, well, I don't think I have a lot of choice here, Finally. but maybe, um, well, I, I cannot catch a break with the grenades. Okay. Well, at least I have a hundred percent. So let's just take the shot. Okay. Armor still holding. So that got rid of suppression. Um, hmm. I didn't think about this. Let me see. Seven to eight. All right, ninety-six percent chance at a kill. Let's just take it. I mean, that guy's way too dangerous. Okay. I'm not going down there right now. Go. I'm going to reload. And I'm going to reload. It's killing time. And I'm going to go on Overwatch. Overwatch. Now. And then next turn, I think we'll go down. I would much rather they come out where I can actually, you know, do something, though. In fact, you know what? I'm going to do this. I want to make sure, after everything that's happened so far, Tempo. that when we fight these guys, there is zero chance that I reveal some new advent enemy over here. So I'll come out over here. That also has the benefit of giving me a little bit of breathing room you know, from them. Another swarm. Okay. Because they need to get right up on top of me. But I don't need to get right on top of that. Oh, well, never mind the breathing room. <laughs> uh, forget what I said. Alright. No, 
Now the bad thing is, I know. Oh, hold on. I was gonna say I know there's one more. There's not just three, but there was another icon. Oh, yeah. Actually, this isn't great. Um, this is not the guy that I was thinking of. Go ahead and reload. So I'll just come here and yeah, see from the different angle. Now I can see this guy. Oh, there's there's multiple. That's fine. I should be okay here. Right. I killed three, and there's always five in these swarms, so this is the fifth. The other one that we killed, he's over the as part of another swarm. And I am more than happy to see if I can just take one of them out. So there should only be three guys left from that swarm. I'm still really sad. I, I think all of these guys were, you know, amongst our lowest level. But losing um, a Marine like that, it hurts me. I like the Marine class a fair amount. Um, so, yeah, it kind of sucks to have the guy get stomped like that. And in a way that, yeah. I, to me, it felt a little cheap. Maybe if I watch the video, but I don't know. Like, again, like what just astounded me was attack, attack, attack. Like he, the guy literally got three attacks in a row on one turn. And at first, when he got the free action, I thought, oh, you know, he's got the hair trigger on his weapon. They they gave him hair trigger. Fine. But then he, he got another one. It's like, okay, well, now I don't know what that is. Now you're just in a whole other realm of him kind of getting freebies. So I don't know what that's about. But that's what he got. And um, boy, we paid a price for it. Let's move already. Yeah, I don't think we're going to see another enemy Finally. quite this quick. And I don't remember. Aside, there was two things on that list from the Shadow Chamber, and one was a heavy mech, and I have forgotten what the other was. And there's three enemies, so there's two of one and one of the other and I gotta be honest I am hoping that the heavy mech is not the one that there's two of <laughs> but we'll see How many is that now? I should have been paying more attention on the overwatch because I didn't notice if we killed Who's one Alright. Well, you don't have a great shot. But even if I miss, it's not the end of the world. There's no way they can get to me this turn. So, it's fine. Just come on up. We must have killed one. Well, in that case... I'm just going to move forward. Let me try and get her the kill. Let's do this. How many is that now? Ammo out. All right. Good to go. Permanent covering now. This is another sw Oh, it's an Andromedan. I take it back. Um, I would prefer two heavy mechs to two Andromedans. I'm going to have a hell of a time putting this guy down. Man, I'm tempted to run.
problem is, like, I don't know that I can run far enough, fast enough. I have to go past him to get to that. Well. Okay. Uh, this is brutal. This is brutal. If we can kill the organic version and this is what I was hoping is like hey maybe I can draw a crowd here Tired of waiting around. and maybe you know that'll kind of save me so I better keep this plasma grenade because the simple truth is I may have to face another Andromedan and we got rid of most of his armor. Now I'm just hoping all the lost focus on him and that he focuses on them. And it looks like he's going to. Good. So he took a heavy toll on them. Honestly, more than I would have liked. I almost have to leave that stupid lost alive because the last thing I want is for Let's move already. for him to, uh, if I can't kill the Andromedan and I don't think I can, I don't want him to come at us like if I can avoid it. Why don't I have a health bar for him? Why does this stupid game just have to be buggy like all the time? <laughs> Drop him. If I can get him, okay. That's what I was gonna say. If I can get him to melee, now it's pretty much guaranteed he will just punch the lost. I've never seen a melee opponent. If they start the turn next to an enemy, I've never seen them move away from the enemy. They'll always just stay there and try to land that punch. At least again, in, in my experience. So now that this guy has to be hitting us, you know, he has to walk up and hit us. I don't see any reason to stand close. I can't kill him in one turn. I don't have the damage output for that. Uh, you know what I could do? Is it worth it? Let me see what my odds are. The problem is I know I have another robotic enemy. I'm just trying to figure out like maybe since we don't have anything else going on. Yeah, this is a really crappy chance. So what I'd rather do is try and focus on safety here. What about combat protocol? I just need to be farther back. I do not want this guy to have any chance whatsoever of hitting me. Here I come. You know, call me a coward if you want to, but whatever. I don't care. All right, so next turn, we should have an easy kill. Repositioning on us. Okay, the only bad thing is uh, I don't really want to run through that flipping acid. Here, let me reload. Alright. This is a mission. <laughs> Can I just say that? This is a mission. Yeah, I can't believe how hard the one was. We and we failed the stupid transmitter thing, and then now I gotta fight a flippin' Andromedan with no real gear. Let's do 
So I'm not moving my field medic. I, I am going to hold out hope that I can wait out that acid on the ground. That is not good. For reasons that I would hope would be pretty obvious. You can't handle me. And these guys, there's no way they're going to be able to attack me this turn. So I do feel like as long as I can take out however many guys are closest to us, we should be fine. And I can reload and take another shot here. You can't handle me. Oh, interesting. It looks like the acid's gone. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna reload. I mean, that's what I'm gonna end up doing anyway, so why move forward? And then now that it does look like the acid is clear. And the cool thing is that um, there's only one more enemy. So whether it's a heavy mech or an Andromedan. Okay, that would be bad. Don't get me wrong. But there can only be one more. And then, of course, the Lost. I mean, we know that. I'm wondering, can I, can I come up? Let's do that. I'm going to go through the building. Here's my goal. If I can just get the hell out of here, I'm going to do it. I was originally going to go up the street. That's a guaranteed way to have to fight whatever it is. I'm just not really enthusiastic about that. We have taken such a beating. No, uh, I think I was too optimistic. The building doesn't go the whole way. Whatever. It's still better to be in here. Um, probably better off coming this way. But I, I'm not doing any dashing. I'm on it. Quiet. Do you hear something? Oh, there's somebody straight outside. Just like right outside the window. Screw it. Who is it? What is it? Oh. Okay. Fine. Wow, it's an Andromedan. Well, this is what I get. This is the curse because I said... Gee, I hope it's two of the other thing and not two heavy max, forgetting that the alternative was actually worse even than a heavy max. <laughs> and now I got what I asked for. I did. So, yay me, I guess. Let's move already. Probably not going to be able to use the grenade. No, nope, I'm not close enough. Not even close to being close enough. Oh, I don't like bunching up. He could easily use that stupid thing, that acid grenade of his. You know, I will tell you in all seriousness, I'm wondering if I would be better off to try to set myself up for a dash here. It doesn't seem like a stupid move. It seriously doesn't. I think the biggest problem I have is, again, like, for me to do it realistically, I have to bunch up. And then I'm going to take massive damage. Oh, here we go. This is what I want. Roger that. Now, I could reveal a lost, which would be very bad. Okay. Um, 
don't know for a fact if I can dash from behind this pillar. You know what? I'll come here. Uh, I should be able to dash that far. If I can't, I can't. But I think this gives me the best chance to get out of here without taking a crap ton more damage. I was hoping he'd do that, but he hit the first one. Now keep firing at them. Oh, okay, he's done. Must have had my mouse uh, or my cursor in that corner. So he can easily get there. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. That's pretty heartbreaking. Um, I mean, nope. I'm never close enough. There's no full cover over this way that I can get to. It's literal nothing. Finally. I am... Oh, hold on. No. I thought that was unlikely. Yeah, I, I didn't think I'd get it. Done. So I am just going to suck it up and take the chance that I might eat a little damage this turn. But I was going to say, I'm hoping he goes after the lost. And then we're out. I am I am so over this. If I had real shots, I, you know, maybe I would think about it, but I don't. And um, this has just been a hellish day. That mission with the gatekeeper was brutal. And then this is literally the most brutal uh, ambush I've ever done. I've never had somebody killed before. I'm pretty sure of that. Maybe, I, maybe I'm, you know, looking at the past with rose-tinted glasses. But one thing I'm very sure of is I never lost a guy. And then on top of that, to have another guy down to two health at one point. And if I hadn't realized I had a med kit with me, you know, like I wouldn't have even been able to heal that whole time. The aliens sure know how to turn a planet into a Halloween theme park. So, man, my apologies to poor Lieutenant Jones. That's just terrible. And he was a lieutenant. He wasn't as low as I thought. He was actually the highest ranking guy on this mission. So... Not that, you know, a lieutenant is the be-all, end-all at this phase of the campaign, but honestly, like, he's a worthwhile soldier. Like, they're still useful. And now he's just gone for nothing, really. So, damn. Well, got him one health. I don't know if that was worth it.